These children's faces and actions reflect well-being and self-confidence. But the beginnings a few months ago were different. Head Start teachers see many children come to school apathetic or fearful or hesitant. Shy. Speechless. Upset. Frustrated to the point of rage. Thank you, Charlie. Or despair. Or just too unsure of themselves to be able to speak or even look up. Without preschool programs like Head Start, children who feel this way at four may enter first grade with only a blurred sense of who they are and what they can do. They may well decide that they can never succeed, that school is not for them. How do Head Start teachers reach out to these children? How do they convince them that they are worthwhile and capable? Here is a group on the first day. The teacher's first job is to make every child feel safe and welcome. It is vital for children to feel at home here. Mothers can always stay to help or observe. Hi, Weda. Kind of hard to go to a new place sometimes, isn't it? But you're going to be all right. I'm going to take care of you till you feel better. And look what I see over here. I see us in the mirror. Look. I see Jane and Weda, the hair ribbon, and the teacher. On the very first day, the teacher lets the children know she likes them and wants them to feel comfortable in school. The teacher's aid is just as important in helping each child feel welcome and in helping him learn the ropes. On the first few days, children wear their names. Nothing helps a child and his teacher establish a true relationship more than being able to use each other's names without hesitation. At home or in the neighborhood, many of these children have felt lost in the shuffle. Anything, sir? Children learn at once that they are free to handle things, that the teacher expects them to use these materials, expects them to find out the school's possibilities and their own. Over here and down here, you can work with those all you want to. The teachers start early to know each child. Not only his name, but also his special needs and interests. Does that sound right to you? What street do you live on, do you know? Every day, teachers extend their warm, personal welcome. Remember my name? Hi, Weta. I'm glad to see you. You remember about school last week, don't you? Did you ride on the bus today? Well, why don't you walk? Okay, what do you think you'd like to do first? Every day, teachers work through with each child his choice of activity. They avoid seeming aloof and uninvolved. Good, you're careful about lowering that cage. Now, he won't come out right away, probably. He may want to look around a little while and then come out. But it's all right to leave. They support children's early efforts. Putting the child's name on his painting makes it obvious to the children that teachers value them and their work. Every day, teachers see to it that children go home with some clarity about what they have been doing. I like the way you worked here in school today. You did a lot of different things with yourselves, didn't you? You remember what you did? The children feel the worth 
of their accomplishments. Teachers find many ways to make each child feel like a distinct person, significant to himself, to the other children, and to the adult. In this school, one teacher took the trouble to take pictures and make an album that included each child. In every school, teachers can use songs which name the children. In every school, teachers can help children's awareness of themselves. Their hands, their noses, their knees, Their shoulders. And their ears. All teachers can use mirrors to help children learn. Some people have brown eyes. Some people have blue eyes. Learn about themselves and their differences and learn to respect the differences. I'll put this up here for a minute. As children learn who they are, they can play at being somebody else. Would you like a hat? Shall I put it on you? <gasps> Look how beautiful you are. You better do it, because I don't know how to tie a man's tie. Can you tie it? Like that. Like that? All right, let's see how it looks. There you have your daddy's tie on. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? But you almost The teacher encourages children to work effectively. She helps this boy stick to a job and learn how to succeed. You have plenty of time. Turn it so that the toast is up here on the top of the toaster. There. You got it again. Well, now look at it. Really look at it and feel it. It has, it has a spoon sticking out of it. Now see if you can find the place for the spoon. I got it. You got it again. With similar experiences behind her, this girl approaches a hard job with confidence in her ability. The teacher helps where help is essential. She uses every occasion to lead children to the conviction that they can accomplish things. In the same way, the assistant helps children succeed. She helps. Not too much, but enough. Sometimes children arrive loaded with troubles. The teacher comforts this girl and leads her to a favorite activity. She stays with her until trust and the challenge of the activity ease the child's pain. For another child or another teacher, the way of handling distress might be different. In one way or another, children discover that their teachers really like them and help them learn. Let's paint. Now, if you start here now again. Children come to feel that school is their school and that they share responsibility for it. They take pride in remembering what comes next. And in putting the room to rights after free play. 
and getting the tables ready for the mid-morning snack. The snack provides a natural occasion for communicating. Children's confidence and self-esteem are enhanced when teachers talk to them, and even more when teachers listen to them. What else? Red card. Red card. Didn't you come in a bus? Did you see any other buses? No. I didn't have a bus. The other bus was just for that home. Teachers seize every occasion for genuine conversation. There isn't any card in there. You know, if you ever go to the library, you'll see that library books have those envelopes, too, and cards that you put in. I got, I got, I'm going to put like that as the same thing. You did? I'm going to go to college. You're going where? I'm going to go to college. You're going to college when you're much older, when you're about 18 years old? I bet you are. Confidence comes from adults who have lots of time for you. Time to comfort you. Time to take you seriously. What happened? What do you think happened now? Look down here. Confidence comes when grown-ups provide you with plenty of time to play. Have you worked at Black? Confidence comes with a place for your own belongings. It comes when teachers respect what children do on their own, alone or together. when they discuss things with children seriously. Confidence comes, too, when children see that their families are welcome as visitors, or perhaps to read a story. To summarize this film, here is how one boy, Mark, acquires self-esteem in a few months of school. Mark is holding back, his hand to his mouth. He seems to arrive each day silent, passive, and apathetic. All his gestures seem to say, I can't. He seems unsure and alone. But teachers give him a pet guinea pig to hold and some small responsibility in caring for it. And with the responsibility, some sense of importance. They read to him, giving him their time and interest and respect. And with these, he gets some self-assurance. What does it look like? That's snow. That's right. They help him follow through when he starts to do things so that success can be his. We move this a little bit in because come here and look. It's not really stable there. Could you push it in a little lift it in a little bit? Move a little bit. His teachers see to it that he becomes involved in interesting projects. Now he seems to be learning to say, I can. He begins to be part of the group. Yeah, I've got to a birthday party, but don't tell, don't tell 
The school even celebrates his birthday. experiences for the first time in his life being important to everyone. This new feeling of significance seems almost unbearable, but he is beginning to respect himself. For the first time, he knows the glow of self-confidence. He and other Head Start children are learning that they can succeed. They are acquiring confidence. <laughs> 